Yo, what's up? Welcome back to King's channel. Today we are in Luti Volleyball Court and I'm with Jesse again. We are going to talk about some serious topic again. Okay. Ready? And I'm going to share with you uh, some arguments that I have with my friend Zhou Dong. Okay. okay. And we are talking about um, like um, some sort of a mental strength. Okay. Okay. So I first started with an argument. Uh, having, you know, like, how am I gonna start with this? Um, I say when, when, uh, when you face some pressure. And like, the more pressure you face, the more mental strength that you will gain. Your mind is like your muscles. The more pressure that you have, the stronger you will get in the future. So you have to face more pressure to make your mind stronger. That's my argument. First. Now, try to look at what Zhou Dong says to me, okay? Zhou Dong reply by saying, You can control the way that you lift. It's so safe. If you feel like you cannot lift, you will just drop it. It's not going to hurt you. But you cannot control what other people are going to say to you. So you cannot control the environment, the pressure from your environment. Mm -hmm. So, how do you know if those pressure are durable, are like manageable for you? So you cannot compare your mind as your muscle because you simply just have no idea how your environment is going to feel. Okay. So this is our first argument. What do you, what, like what, what, what do you think about this? You can give you some opinions. Uh, before knowing Zhou Dong's opinion. Yes. From what you say. Yes. Like uh, weight training stuff and mental strength. Yes. I think. Uh, I kind of agree with that you suffer more pressure can uh, gain your mental strength. Yes. But for the weightlifting, weight training stuff, I think that's, um, you should say, because we have a lot of muscles, right? Yes. So that's why you do, you do a lot of different kind exercise training for different muscles. So that's, uh, also means all the pressure from like the people around you or yes. the environment around you should be very like um, full of diversity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's not only that single muscle. Yeah. Training. Yeah. So so it it doesn't mean more pressure you have can gain more mental strength. Okay. It's about how many kinds. The types of the pressure, mm -hmm. yeah, the, like the reason of the pressure should be multiple, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, that's about... That's your opinions? Yeah, from, from what you say. Okay. Yeah, and from Zhou Dong's opinion, mm -hmm. I think I agree of... Uh, what, did you, what did he say again? He says you cannot uh, control your pressure from your environment because you don't know what the people will say to you. It's just, it's not like you can control how heavy you lift oh, because yeah. it's from the outside so world. So if you have enough training yes. for your muscles, yes. for your body, then if there's something happen in your life or on the way to work to, or to like exercise, then your body will have more ability to handle it. Yes. To I don't know to 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 keep you safe. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean just the timing when you're doing the weight training. It's about 
after web training, what brings to your, uh, what kind of change is it for uh, like after that? Oh, so, so yeah. that's your focus. That's mm. like what you think the most important thing. Yeah. What about our second argument? Ready? Okay. So after I listen to Zhou Dong's argument, I ask another question to him. Like, he told me you cannot control how many, how, what's the pressure from, from other people's mouth, right? You can, you can yeah. put you in a very huge pressure. Yeah. But like, you know, it's like you can actually control your own emotion when you are receiving some words from the outside world. For example, when somebody tells you that you are so smart, you can either feel so happy because you got praise. Some people give you a compliment. It's a good thing. You feel so happy. And you can also feel like, oh, it's so much pressure. It's so much pressure because, oh, she told me I'm so small. That makes me so much pressure because what if I did something wrong? I would be so embarrassing. I can either feel either way. Mm -hmm. So it, it's actually my idea in my brain to kind of cause this kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. So I can actually manage it when somebody tell me some words. I can decide what kind of emotion that I want to show. So okay. it's, actually, it's actually our own problem to, to feel differently in whether you want to feel stressful or you want to feel happy. Just by, it's the same sentences for other people. So it's actually our job to control our own emotions. That's my argument. Okay. Right. After that, Zhou Dong's response is, Zhou Dong say to me, then why don't you feel happy when somebody punch you right in the face and you think, oh, he's not killing me, he's just punching me. So you, there are something that you just cannot control because that's naturally how people are feel. Having negative emotion doesn't mean it's a wrong emotion. Mm -hmm. You should express it and then to make people know what's your real feeling instead of just changing your own mind. Mm -hmm. That's how basically Joe don't talk. What do you think about this second round? I'm going to combine both of your opinions. Okay. Like, um, no matter what happened to you, yes, you you will just have certain emotion naturally, right? Yes, true. No matter is uh, no matter what kind of it is, like um, sadness, happiness, I don't know, embarrassment. Yes. Yeah, any kinds. But um, if if you got the negative emotions, yes. then the most important thing would be how you manage or digest that kind of negative feeling. Okay. So it kind of connect Zhou Dong's part and your part. Right? You say, uh, like, um, you say emotions are manageable. Yes. Right? And Zhou Dong say, uh, having negative feelings doesn't mean you're wrong, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's not wrong, but you have to learn how to how to like transfer it to but my like more positive. No, no, I mean thing. my point is more like don't show your negative emotion, but those on is like you can actually show your negative emotions out. You don't have to always make it seem so positive but why not why when why don't you show your uh, negative emotion no matter what kind of it is negative or positive it's yes. all your emotions it's yes all natural so you, sh you should always show it yeah why not just don't hide your negative emotion but for my case my point is more more of like uh, you should actually hide your negative emotion and then if you're not going it. to hurt anyone else then it doesn't matter to show it out, right? What, what, what do you care about show your in real emotion, real feelings? Because I feel like 
showing my negative emotion uh, will kind of make myself uh, look bad. But if you always show your positive emotion, yes, then you will make like people will think you're so strong, fake. So fake. How come people always show their positive emotion? It it's must like you know, can, there was gas. Oh. There must be some dark side of him. No, I mean, it's it's kind of like making people always feel like, how can you always be so nice when some shit things happen on you, but it doesn't seem to bother you. That kind of things can bring people power. Right? Do it's, you it's think like, you can show your positive I mean, feelings like, of immediately, I mean, right after the shit thing just happened to you? Of course. Like there's a shit just hit on your face. Okay. I mean, of course, people have negative emotion every time when they face some really terrible things happen in your life. Yes. But, but like, who doesn't know how to show their negative emotion out, right out, straight out? So it's more actually more difficult if you turn those negative things into positive and show it out for other people and just digest those negative things inside of you. So you just want to be different from others? Kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. So be different doesn't mean it's right or wrong, but just so fake. If you just try I to be hide so it. Fake? Yeah, you just try to hide it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like a translator, you know, when shit thing hit me, it turns out a good thing out. No, that's too fake. Too fake. Like there's a shit just come from the sky and just hit on your face. Yes. Then you go. And, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I just so No, no, I don't think so. So you're just like now you're just talking some shit thing because uh, when I'm not being it sincere. happens to you, then you just be act totally different from what you say now. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Jesse, yeah. for teaching me a lesson and. As always, I'll uh, have uh, more discussion with Jesse next time. And we are going to play volleyball soon. So see you guys next time. Bye.